Hello to everyone, excluding no one. I'm Kagan, and this is Rocket Boom. And today, we're talking about Ol' Worm. Yep, his name was Ol' Worm, a zoologist, Danish-born in 1588. And one of science's biggest party poopers, like when it came to lemmings. In the Middle Ages, most European scientists believed that lemmings were spontaneously generated from clouds and fell to earth like rain. And a lot of people were actually sure that falling lemmings was punishment from the heavens. But not Ol' Worm. When his friends sent him a pickled lemming, he dissected it to show everyone lemmings are not made of clouds. He also brought down the bird of paradise. At the time, there was a belief that these colorful birds had no feet and thus spent their whole life flying, Paradisia apoda, or legless bird of paradise. But Ol' Worm knew better. European explorers began importing skins of the bird from Southeast Asia in the 1500s, and when the skins were prepared, the feet were removed. So, Worm published the first image of a bird of paradise that included feet. And killed that myth. You wanna know what else? Unicorns. Unicorns were a hot topic in the Middle Ages. They were believed to be wild and pure, and only virgins could tame them. And their horns were thought to have magic powers. In 1628, one prominent scientist declared that unicorn deniers were fools, and that as long as there are unknown regions of the world, there is hope of finding a complete unicorn. But old Worm called bullshit on that. He was suspicious that people only ever found unicorn horns, never full unicorn skeletons or even skulls. So when some explorers from Greenland finally brought a unicorn skull to Denmark, he examined it and realized that it was just a narwhal skull. Once again, Ol' Worm got it right. A true renaissance man. Not always certain, there was that egg he swore was laid by a Norwegian woman. But proving a little bit of observation can go a long way.